Hello students. In wave theory, after Huygens principle, the next topic that we have to study is principle of superposition of waves as it is very important while we have to study about interference and diffraction. So, these both phenomena based on the principle of superposition only. So, for that first we have to study principle of superposition of waves and by this principle we mean that when there are a number of waves traveling through a medium simultaneously and each wave travels independently of the others such that all other waves are absent. That means suppose there are 5 waves traveling simultaneously in a medium. So, wave number 1 will travel like that. There will be no effect of other 4 waves on the traveling of wave number 1. So, that is how it means. That is the situation when there are a number of waves traveling through a medium simultaneously and each wave travel independently of the other. Then to get the resultant effect or net effect because of all these waves at a point in that medium, we have to add the effects of all these, the individual effects of all these waves. Suppose there is a particle which get disturbed by first wave, then second wave, then third wave and if these all waves are coming together simultaneously, then all these effects are added together to get the net effect and this phenomena, this principle is called superposition of waves, principle of superposition of waves. So, we can give its statement as when a number of waves traveling through a medium, there are a number of waves traveling through a medium superpose on each other the resultant displacement that we get is the resultant displacement at any point at a given instant is equal to the vector sum of the displacements due to the individual waves at that point. So, that mean if at some point in that medium, suppose this is the point, there are 5 waves traveling in that medium, wave number 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. When wave 1 was traveling alone, it displaced this particle by a displacement y1 vector or we can say this is the individual displacement by the wave 1 for that particle. Similarly, if the second wave is traveling alone, then it gives a displacement y2 vector and so on for the wave y5 vector. So, if we, if we consider that all these waves are traveling simultaneously at, uh, at that instant in that medium and come at that point, then the disturbance or the displacement at that particle or at that point will be equal to the vector sum of all these individual displacements. Now, there can be 5 waves or n number of waves, the principle will be valid for all the n number of waves that are traveling in that medium and this displacement is called the resultant displacement because of all that waves. This is the resultant displacement. Now, when two superposing waves if are in same phase, 
means the crest of one falls over the crest of another or the trough of one falls over the trough of another means wave is like this so if crest of one falls over the crest of another and trough of one falls over the trough of another then in that case their displacements get added okay crest on crest and trough on trough their displacements get added because they are in same phase but if the two waves meet in opposite phase this was the condition for same phase but if the two waves meet in opposite phase that means crest of one superpose with the trough of one like this okay crest of one superpose with the trough of one that means uh, maxima of one and minima of the other so in that case their displacements get subtracted to find the net or resultant displacement y vector this is the condition of opposite phase in case of opposite phase the displacements get subtracted while in case of same phase the displacements get added to get the resultant displacement and resultant displacement is equal to the vector sum of all the individual displacements by the waves traveling in that medium at that point at any instant okay this is the principle of superposition and the result of this principle of superposition come out to be as interference or diffraction or sometimes it is beats so beats we have studied in class 11th in chapters of sound when we were studied about sound wave here in optical phenomena we have to study about interference and diffraction only so our next topic will be interference for that stay tuned and keep studying thank you